Kilcorna, on, um, on the 18th of December last, a few hours after the Doyle went into recess for the Christmas, Mr Sean Fitzpatrick announced that he was resigning as chairman of Anglo-Irish Bank uh, following the disclosure that uh, he had taken out loans of 87 million euro uh, and which by shifting them to uh, periodically to another institution uh, he was uh, able to conceal uh, from the bank's shareholders over a period of eight years. We have subsequently of course found out that the total amount of loans that he had amounted to 129 uh, million euros, uh, an astonishing amount of money uh, in any circumstances. Now, Mr. Fitzpatrick himself says that what he did was inappropriate, but that he didn't break any law. And the Minister for Finance, in his initial comment, expressed disappointment with what Mr. Fitzpatrick uh, had done. I think the, I'm sure the Taoiseach will appreciate that uh, the feeling among uh, the general public is somewhat stronger than that. Shareholders in Anglo Irish Bank, many pensioners uh, whose savings have been lost now. Uh, in that bank, staff of the bank, uh, people who have loans from banks and who are uh, sometimes for small amounts who are being uh, followed quite strongly by the banks to uh, pay them back, uh, people who are losing their jobs as a result of the uh, difficulties in the economy uh, to which the crisis in banking has contributed, uh, the other banks for whom uh, international confidence has declined and who are having difficulty uh, raising money on the international uh, financial uh, markets, I would think feel somewhat more strongly about the damage that has been caused by the actions of Mr Fitzpatrick and perhaps others in Anglo-Irish Bank. Now, the Taoiseach has said that, of course, problems in the banking is something that, and problems in the economy is something that's happening worldwide and in other countries. But we do see in other countries uh, that wrongdoing is outed and illegality is punished. And we do see that people who have engaged in wrongful activities and who are accused of illegal activities are arrested, are in custody, in some cases awaiting trial. You recall, for example, the case of Martha Stewart, uh, who served time in jail for what I think would be regarded in this country as a relatively minor offence. Now, the Labour Party, through Deputy Joan Burton, proposed here last week when we were dealing with the nationalisation of Anglo-Irish Bank that a High Court inspector should be appointed to investigate what happened in Anglo-Irish Bank and in particular uh, the activities of Mr Fitzpatrick. Uh, your government voted down that proposal. So what I want to ask you today, Taoiseach, is can you tell the House and can you tell the public what investigations are underway uh, in respect of what happened in Anglo-Irish Bank? Who is conducting the investigations? And when will the public of this country find out the truth uh, about what has happened in Anglo-Irish uh, Bank? Uh, who was involved in it? Uh, and uh, if uh, there was uh, illegal uh, actions, if laws were broken, and frankly, I find it difficult to believe and to understand that laws were not broken. The Companies Act seems to me is quite specific uh, and clear that full information is to be made available. The directors have responsibilities to make full information available uh, on their company's affairs and accounts uh, to, their, to their shareholders. So I find it difficult to understand how laws were not broken. But what I want to establish today, and I don't want to do it in any prejudicial way, I want to establish from you today, Thisho, what investigations, if any, are underway into what went on in Anglo and the activities of Mr Fitzpatrick and others?